Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.u. Check out WC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Parental discretion. This is the show is finally having the audio on because it didn't click over for some reason. It is a raw wrap up live from Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, PA. I'm Mike Sorgan. Larry is on the couch. How you doing? Hey, for reals this time. <laughs> that was a good practice run. Yeah, that was a good practice <laughs> run. Maybe we didn't turn on the audio. Uh, you know, hey, switching's hard sometimes, uh, especially after a three-hour raw. We had a very social night, so maybe we didn't catch everything. And, mm-hmm. you know, sometimes, I mean, this is a busy throughway uh, in our community here. In, in a lot of traffic coming through this a place. A lot of traffic coming through. We had some friends. Our friend Joyce from Sparkle Dragon Magic Emporium was hanging out in the studio with us for a little bit, chatting with some community stuff. Uh, some other friends talking about what's going on in the neighborhood. But this is the show about pro wrestling and Monday Night Raw that a lot of you just saw. You can join us in the chat room if you're not already here on Monday nights right after uh, uh, you know Monday Night Raw on the Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook group. I'm pulling up that chat room so we can see who's hanging out out there. I see at least seven of you are uh, checking things out. Uh, so thank you so much for joining us this fine, fine evening. So uh, the women, I, you know, it was kind of nice. That the women got featured while we're promoting, promoting the, the the show that is not going to have women. Yeah. So at least we like, that hey, was, guys. That's, a, that's like a consolation. Yeah, yeah. You're not going over to Saudi Arabia for the greatest Royal Rumble ever, <laughs> but you can main event Raw. Yeah, yeah, it, exactly. It, it, it works out just just fine. So, But no, it was, it was uh, kind of good to see them featured. Again, still... We were talking about earlier about Ronda Rousey and how yeah. and <laughs> how much Brock Lesnar is getting paid because yeah. that those numbers came out this week, uh, if you believe the news. Uh, and uh, and and you know Ronda is at least while not like an active wrestler is still there every week for Raw. Yeah, I don't expect her to be on maybe house shows. But still, like, it's cool to see, like, she is still around and not, like, we'll see her at SummerSlam or mm-hmm. Money in the Bank or something, right? Uh, so even if it's at that moment at the end of the show. Yeah. So. Uh, she actually does stuff. She actually does things, which is a novel approach from people coming from uh, successful careers, in MMA, I guess. So uh, it, 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 Travis is saying women's tag team championship is coming. And I think I've been seeing those news come around, that news coming around a good bit. Uh, but uh, that would be awesome. Yeah, yeah, I, I would like to see women's tag team. Like, I think there might be a room ha- for or it. At least I'd like to see them have tag matches for a reason. You know, and, and you know, and it's a little bit of between that and we've had you know a, a extended conversation um, a couple of weeks ago with uh, I think with Honey Badger about intergender wrestling yeah. and was mixed match challenge kind of a, a barometer for those kinds of things. And, and by the way, Alex Miller, um, Oh wait, wait, let me check. Let me, let me check those facts before I say what was in the chat room. Oh yes, it is. Happy Rusev day. Happy Rusev day. Happy Yay! Monday night raw Rusev day. What a coincidence that they both landed on the same day. I oh, heard, heard a lot of happy Rusev days. Um, I have a first draft up. It's going through the producer right now. But the um, WrestleMania weekend travel vlog is uh, is 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 edited. Yeah, I need to fix some things. I'm missing an event of pictures. Um, there, but there's it, a there's a missing period of time that's undocumented. Yeah, see, there's like a scene missing um, graphic in it, there. It's it's like the the morning after uh, the Hangover yeah. where they just. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> M- Mad Mike's morning after he was out on Bourbon there's Street. There's a lot of like, like they don't they, like. There's this weird gap in there where it's just like nothing happened for like 12 hours, and then they were at the next event. I'm like, what you did you guys stop exploring New Orleans? Like, what what happened? What here? happens during Rusev Day stays. <laughs> <Rusev> Day. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh geez but anyways anyways uh, no rob was fun uh i i did know i and, and again I, we missed kind of the missile middle of the show because a lot of conversation happening here again we had some visitors um but i enjoyed the the um plight of the mistrage <laughs> as they were um trying to mistrage new new people yeah. all, all night long they were looking for a new fearless leader yes they're like the minions yeah they're like the minions in the movie. That's yep. great. Putting help help wanted ads out. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Uh, no, it was a lot of fun. And uh, Ch- I saw Chad Gable on there had a match with uh, Ginger Mahal. Did just I, I don't know the ending of that. No, me neither. I know that the last thing I saw was Chad on the outside with a bloody mouth. <laughs> Ch- <laughs> Uh, John out there. So, is if saying, anyone could tell us what happened, please feel free to fill us in. Um, John is out there saying um, uh, that Jose can go away. He's already um, over uh, away, Jose. You know what? I'm okay with him being there if he goes out the way he did every time. <laughs> Wait, if, <laughs> if it ends with him getting a choke slam backbreaker, it feels then, less yeah, original. The problem with me is is, I, and I like No Way Jose. I, I think he's really talented. I like I I like the gimmick. I, I don't know, like the conga line. It's is, the rosebuds. It's yeah, the, it's, it's a, the hoe train. It's, it's a, no, no, but it's the rosebuds. The, it's well, not, uh, but listen, I mean, the, it's not a hoe train. It's had. It's, listen, it's had. This a, is 2018. Right, fine. It's a different. It's a different world. What was There's it? Certain di- words we don't say anymore on this show, and the hoe train is not a thing there that was, happens on Monday there night. There was a gardener in that group. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Where's a guy? And he like, had they just make sure one person has a garden hoe every week, yes. so it could be a hoe train what, throwback. What was his? Uh, what was the train called when he was the good father? Does there was remember? no train. There was no train no, at all. No, no. Oh, the train was derailed. Really? They pulled it right into the station and uh, left it there. Okay. Oh, Gable won. Good. Thanks, John. Good. He's got our results for us. We can't even re- we, we can't even be wa- bothered to the the read results. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they don't update them fast enough. No, they don't. No, they don't. Uh, but anyways, no, it, it looked like it was a fun raw tonight uh, in general uh, from everything we saw. We, I we, started on a sour, not a sour note, but a a, a rough note. Somber. Somber note. Uh, 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 the piece and everything, and, and I can't wait to see the feature that they're going to do on, on WWE Network that's debuting right now as we speak. Because um, these are usually, just judging by the five-minute thing we got, at the beginning of the show, um, you know, because Bruno, uh, we'll talk about this more, but, you know, Bruno is a Pittsburgh original, of course. Well, I guess he's an Italian original, but so you, you get the idea, yeah, right? He's, 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 he's one native. of ours, and, and yeah. somebody I've got to meet in person, and, you know, that was really cool, and just kind of gave me chills the entire the entire time. So, um, <laughs> you know, Brandon, uh, he, he's saying, just remember one of these people in that conga line will be a superstar and win a title in the next five years. We you lo- know, what did I say? I was like, which one of these guys is the next Braun Strowman? <laughs> yeah, we were looking to see. Uh, that guy in the end kind of looked like a John Cena minus the muscle suit. There you go. There you go. Um, and, or Elias or, you know, all he, those guys. He had guys. a bright shirt. Break t-shirt there mm-hmm. should just be like is there is there like a um is there a rosebuds uh um 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 wikipedia or something we know a bunch of people that have been rosebuds uh potter the referee um, most notably james ellsworth but uh, <laughs> of course he well, wait, was it? Well, yeah. he ne- you could say that he never stopped being a rosebud whoa come on <laughs> i don't know if he you're got bad. Pr- he got promoted when he got carmela's dog leash around his <laughs> neck Okay, you got me there. You got me there. Uh, but uh, g- yeah, really, uh, I see uh, Alex is out there saying he's uh, really ready for Miz and Daniel Bryan tomorrow night on SmackDown. I like that they held that off a week. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, Miz saying that he was, uh, you know, was like, oh, I don't need to come there. I'm gonna, I'm hanging out with my beautiful daughter and wife. And uh, y- you know, it, it's there's a, so much going on because it's already the shakeup. So like, give that a week to boil. Yeah. Say some things on Twitter, and uh, it, that's gonna be that's gonna be fun. Um, was it RWA's Tori Payne was the girl in red tonight? I don't oh, cool. Rem- I don't remember Tori Payne. How I, she must have been a, a couple years ago or something. Uh, but thanks Wheels for uh, letting us know that. By the way, RWA Spring Fling from Saturday night now available on IndieWrestling.us on digital download. Got your plugs in there uh, since he's in the chat room. Uh, Britt Baker was a rosebud. I would not be surprised. Possibly, I would I not know. be surprised because there. I, I know. I know a few people. I know 
Serafini, friend of the show, was was a rosebud at one point. Like I said, a uh, uh, hotter Bobby um, Bobby Williams uh, was as well. Uh, so, uh, like a lot of people have had a chance to do that. So, um, what else? What else stuck uh, stuck out for you from uh, Raw tonight? Um, the Matt Hardy tag match with yes. uh, him and uh, Bray versus the Ascension. The Ascension did a card wheel. I, the the Asc- Connor, one of the Connor did the, the, is the it Connor. I think Connor is the smaller of them. Uh, uh, Matt Carlin <laughs> will correct me in comments. I'm sure he did a wonderful cart wheel. You did a wonderful cart. Wonderful, wonderful, car- wonderful. Yes, car wheel. It, and that's what and that's what I like about this team. You know, did, when's the last time you said a match with Bray Wyatt was entertaining, fun, fun? Oh, oh, oh you know what. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get, you know what? Sorry. If that's how you want to interpret that, I'll let you have it. Okay. Um, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> not weird. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not involving images of b- b- bugs. All right. If you're gonna talk about that match, then yeah, I'm gonna say yeah. that was not entertaining. This was kind of a go home show, wasn't it? Yeah. I mean, it is kind of. It is another WrestleMania. Yeah. Legitimately, we're having kind of the same matches. We're going to get it. You know, we'll, again, we'll. I guess there's I, a Royal Rumble trophy. There's a trophy. It's a good looking trophy. It doesn't look like sex organs. And I, that's that, that, you know what, you know, a couple steps back for no women in Saudi Arabia, but a couple steps forward for a trophy that is in a a, a, a sexual organ. They are learning. Yes. Yes, we've come so far from Great Balls of Fire, Larry. So far, so far. Producer is Missy is in the back shaking her. Are head you okay now. back there? No, nope, she she's like I'm not on this show. <laughs> new, we got our new command center back there. We'll probably never see her um, um, up here anymore. Said Ryder she'll moved to Raw. Still no TV. She'll time. just be over there throwing things and giving me um, hand gestures. Ryder might be in. Uh, uh, Saudi Arabia already because I know there's a, there was a group of people that went over there early, uh, John. Okay, so so if there's a Mojo I, was over there. Um, I'm trying to think who else. Everybody got listed uh, in, in the swap on yeah <laughs> on like Monday night at, at two a.m. is now over in yeah. Saudi Arabia. <laughs> yeah, and also because it was a little bit like we're watching this. I'm like, hey, the Ascension's on Raw. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, can you imagine how unpleasant everyone on Raw is going to be next Monday after they fly from the U.S. tonight? I'm assuming they, they, to they, Saudi Arabia to fly back to Montreal, mm-hmm. and then they go to England. But did, you, did you mention they everybody just came back from South? Oh Africa yeah, they too? just came back from South yeah. Africa this weekend yeah. too. No, no, that grind after WrestleMania is the worst. Because typically right now we're about like typically would be maybe a week out from them going to the UK. Yeah, I, you know it, it's they it's they all have to be psychotic. Whew. Like Whew. I I would like to see a psychological evaluation of them, like before and after. Where was these tours? Weren't they doing a tour of Japan and they brought AJ Styles over for that fill in match when Bray got sick? No, they were in South America. Were they in South America? They were America? in um, Chile or Peru or something like that. Something about he had been on a plane for yeah. like nineteen. Like, he was up for like nineteen hours straight or something. Yeah, nineteen hours straight. Something about he's been he'd been in the air for like something like like thirty some of the last forty eight hours yeah. or crazy like that. And then you know pulls in a, a, a dream match with, with Finn uh, at, at at that pay per view. Was it Great Balls of Fire? I feel like it might have been Great Balls of Fire. No, no I just no. Remember. It was in the fall. No, it was. No, no great balls of fire in the fall. No, it, that was that was in the summer, because mm. uh, that was the one before SummerSlam. That seems appropriate. Oh, what was it? It was the one before Survivor Series. It or was it Survivor matter. Series? Probably Hell in a Cell or something. You know, it might have been Hell in a Cell. I think it was because it was like yeah, because he was a, he was dressed like a pumpkin. Yeah, he was pumpkin. Yes. he was cu- pumpkin demon. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. pumpkin king. I'm kind of like I'm kind of curious, and I'm kind of okay TLC. with that. TLC. Like, TLC. TLC. That's what it was. Is when I think Halloween and Pumpkin King, I think tables, ladders, and chairs. Did you know those ladders are fiberglass? This this was your discovery for the week. Holy shit! Could you imagine breaking those things in half on your body? I can't imagine half this stuff, and I kind of know what a bump feels like. So. I thought the aluminum was bad. Yeah. Oh. 
Um, things that I know we were distracted when they happened, and I wish I would have paid more attention. I'll be looking them up on YouTube later. Ziggler and McIntyre uh, in their tag team debuts. I so saw them briefly. I didn't see who they were facing. I, they took on a Titus. Worldwide. Oh, well, we know how that ended. <laughs> yes. Speaking of tag teams, and so I'm very clear. To see, yeah, yeah. But yeah, there's a promo, and they were explaining whatever their new re- weird relationship is. I'm sure it's about um, oil and hair product. Uh, <laughs> what? All right. Yeah. I, I, it's, I guess. I'm like, what do these guys have in common? Yeah. That's what I got. Oil and conditioner. Yeah. <laughs> Hair tips. But speaking of tag teams, and I'm really curious to see what they do with it. So, I, again, I'm going to try to catch that uh, a little bit later. Uh, if you guys t- – I'm going to get back to the chat room here, but I'm just going through to see if there's anything I missed. Speaking of tag teams – I'm really liking the idea of, Str- of Strowman and Lashley. Lashley's been around, and I still has like not really stuck out, other than hey, Bobby v- Lashley, remember that guy when he hung out with the president? Um, I don't remember that. No. Oh, I do remember that. Yeah, yeah, and cut somebody's uh, hair. Um, yeah, I think can we get more Bobby Lashley and Braun because he's kind of. Given me some hope there. I don't think it will happen. No, but you don't think. Well, like don't, there's no, a lot of I badassness happening in that, and also Sami Zayn just getting flattened over and over again. That and w- I know Kevin Owens got it worse on the outside. Yeah. Oh my God, Braun ran him over like he was a freight train. You were really enjoying, and again, I was distracted with some some other stuff going on. You were really enjoying. Was it the Kevin and Sammy show? Yeah, yeah. Kurt Angle's job interview. <laughs> yeah, I look up. I'm like, is, is Kurt Angle being interviewed? Right, like job interview. I like right that. Now? He, the way he's like the body language looked like it when they, I wasn't paying attention. They were sitting behind a table with nice leather chairs, and he was off to the side in a <laughs> tiny lawn a chair. Desk. They have a desk, and he sat in it. He, he was just sitting in it. I'm like, yeah, I'll sit in this. I don't Crouched know, over. Like, what has happened since WrestleMania? I don't know if like Kurt got his confidence back after doing a WrestleMania, but. Like, I think he's not scripted anymore. Is that it? Like, I'm hoping. Or is his delivery? Because his, his, he's had a very stilted delivery on everything for the entire last year it, of him as a GM. It was the same way when Mick was GM. Was it? Yeah, because Mick was re- was reading off the... He was forgetting lines. Yeah. He, and, and having some they, awkward they moments. All, they all ad-lib. Like, yeah. You know, they don't, they just go off the bullet points. Usually, you know, like and do. it seems like they were just reading from the script. Oh, 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 okay, okay, we got it. John is, is uh, <laughs> clearing it up uh, because uh, uh, McIntyre is the rugby player, Ziggler is the male cheerleader. That's your connection. Yep. Okay. All right. Okay. Um. Anyways, uh, it was. It looked like again. It looked like it was a fun raw uh, from everything. Again, we were not completely engaged in it for our big section but nothing really looked like it was like oh god what's happening right now elias yeah did stuff he got interrupted by bobby Roode's glorious music and he, the perturbed look on his face was Man. priceless yeah it was we didn't even get into it and also i mentioned this to you you notice Elias is getting into this like silky phase now. He's getting to this like the kimono phase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, I, yep. I, I wonder, um, is this like a, like you, when you see rock stars kind of evolve and everything like that? This like, is his sexual chocolate phase in his career. <laughs> <laughs> My mind <laughs> is running wild with sexual chocolate Elias, but God, we got to come up with a new name. Uh, <laughs> but like, what is the equivalent of, of, of that? You know, is it is it ladies man it, Elias? It's nothing that is PG. No, no, I, I can't even think. Like, there's this one video no. I remember with Limp Biscuit and the insane clown posse that was about groupies, and and is that where we go with this? Maybe, uh, yeah. I don't. Know. Maybe like un- unwilling groupies. Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, whoa, whoa. I mean we like, can't do that I mean in like, like groupies are there just for a paycheck, but don't really want to be around him. You know, like kind of like Renee Young was interviewing him last week. Yeah, and like she didn't want to talk to him, 
but she it's her job so she was like tolerating him anyways you know <laughs> kind of like that but he thinks that they're but, there for but him he thinks they're like the, they, they love him <laughs> all right all right okay i i could watch elias I mean, and renee young interviews like for an entire this is, raw this is more viscera but I, it, oh no 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 you can't no. call somebody as the spicy meatball no no <laughs> no Wow, Elias male gigolo. Thank you, <laughs> thank you, Billy. You know what? That's a better image than Viscera male gigolo. Oh boy! In his in his pajamas. Big v. In his paja- his silk oh, pajamas. Big silk pajamas. <laughs> he would like hump people. Yeah, it was unpleasant. God, this is more than a raw wrap up of the today. Yeah. So I I you're welcome, let's, and let's, I apologize. Let's, let's move to a different note. Let's please. move to it, uh, sir. How much of Raw was watchable for you tonight? I would say literally about an hour and 15 minutes. Wow. Because like I think that's, I think that's all we actually, actually paid attention to. We got into a lot of stuff tonight. So, yeah. say, again, it was a very social the, night here at the The studio. women's tag match was good. Yeah. Um, good show, what's her name? Uh, Sarah Wonder Logan Rousey. was really oh. good at it. No, she did. She was, her, her arm bar is garbage. Ronda Rousey's? Yeah. Don't tell that to her face. No, I won't. I'm sure it's great in like reality, but yeah. her not trying to armbar people with an armbar is hey, stupid. Are they, are they just like hour twenty five? Says Travis. Can you? I don't know if you can see my arm on. She's so, doing. So, thi- she's doing this. Yeah, it's just like falling in the back on she, itself. That's right? it. Yeah, oh, okay. an armbar goes that Kinda way. Hyper extend it. You know. No. I mean, it goes up no. and like I'm feeling a little bit of pull, but I'm like really, really? out of shape. Does that do I something? Mean, yeah, you know, it it's like cramps my bicep. And, that's yeah. what it does. Yeah. I mean, you get just, a cramp. Oh, she's just giving everybody a Charlie horse. Oh, <laughs> that makes sense. But I can't move. That, that's irritating, I guess. Yeah. Am I supposed to be able to move my arm at this point? Because yeah. I'm kind of <sighs> stuck. I don't know. No. Maybe Mickey James isn't programmed to like it's know what to do. Robot Mickey <laughs> James. <laughs> it wants her arm I was in this waiting position. for a text from Katie with with Mickey James out there. They'd be like, I am not human. I don't human. think Beep she boop. was paying attention to it at Beep that boop, point. I am not human. They put her on too late in the show. It's just too late in the show. I seriously thought that the the Rollins the Rollins tag match was the main event. I forgot. I completely forgot about the women's tag. Uh, it was a pleasant surprise, but I almost said an inside joke because I can't get that. Up. I can't. The cartoon scrubbing bubbles. I can't get out of my head anymore. Oh, I don't know why. Oh, uh, boy. Um, uh, boy, it was a fun raw. Um, aspirationally. <laughs> yep, I, Billy, that's exactly what's right. That? He, Billy said uh, that's probably why Asuka's on SmackDown is because her arm bar is better than Ronda Rousey's. I agree. I only set that up. Maybe we'll get well, – it, is it Asuka Rousey next uh, uh, WrestleMania or I – think, I don't think so. No? or Only because I don't think she can work with Charlotte, somebody with a language barrier. Charlotte Rousey. Yeah, and it's a little, it's somebody needs you know to be I mean? the ring general. Now, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So aspiration, I'm going to say uh, two and a half hours. Realistically, yeah, I think I caught a good hour and a half of it, and I really knew what was going on. So I uh, hope to do some catch up on there. Um, but uh, I don't think we l- missed anything bad. No, 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 not not big. Um, I mean, I mean, the big watch is going to be this Friday, Greatest yes. Royal Rumble. We'll review the show or our previous show. Um, on the Wrestling Mayhem show, we have... Hummus. We'll have hummus. We'll have hummus? We'll have hummus. I forgot that was a promise. So if you're in the area and have a Friday off, we'll, we'll have, be here. We'll have hummus. We will be here. Uh, Wrestling Mayhem show is uh, 9 p.m. Eastern time. We will have Laura Loveless will be joining us. I can't remember if she's done Mayhem show before. I know we've done an interview. I think we've only done an interview with her before. So I think that's going to be our first time on the main show. So we'll get some ideas. I'm glad that we have women representation while we're talking about the show where women can't wrestle in the country. I, I we really you know it's it, I, well. actually I think that's a great idea because we should hear how uh, hear their opinion on that. So if you so, went yeah. to Saudi Arabia, um and uh and and from what I understand, if I understand her Instagram, I think she is suffering from a bad breakup with a title belt. So, um, who is uh, Laura Loveless, our guest tomorrow? Oh. So, uh, so well, hopefully we can bring her the joy of mayhem. We didn't even talk about the Alexa Bliss PSA. <laughs> moment of bliss. The oh, moment of bliss. Please be a thing that that rolls up through backlash. Oh my God, that was amazing. No, not you, Alexa. Alexa Bliss, <laughs> the marginally better Alexa than you. 
Amazon. Not marginal, significantly better, Alexa. <laughs> <laughs> now, what's she saying? What's she saying over there? I don't know. I've had it on. She's still going. She's still going. What was Alexa? Larry, saying? where can people find you online? Uh, I, I'm on the. I'm in the basement. Silly I'll be downstairs. If Silly you need question. Me. He's a dealer in foam and yes. foam products. Soon. Soon. So, foam. <laughs> What is the uh, the pa- propane and propane, propane accessories? And propane accessories. The, the foam and foam, foam accessories. And foam and insulation <laughs> accessories. It's insulation? It's, I don't that's know. not what you do. Foam is insulation. It's used for insulation. I don't use if it for insulation. If you need something made out of foam, whatever it may be, yeah. he's your guy. Yep. Hashtag earthquake. Sorgatron on the Twitter. Uh, Sorgatronmedia.com for so many things. And, uh, of course, uh, please stay tuned. We're going to go thrift shopping. Bum. Um, Who is? I'm not going thrift shopping. I'm going thrift shopping. Oh, cool. Gonna st- I hate shopping. Going to pop some tags. You have to pay for this stuff, Sorg. Oh, yeah, wait. Well, no. That, does that mean stealing? I don't know. Mm-hmm. Is, that, is that what that means, Missy? Mm-hmm. Pop some tags? Mm-hmm. I don't know if I know the thrift uh, store slang. I'm going to learn it on the Thrifty Podcast. Who does? New member of the uh, Sorgatron Media Podcast Network will be joining us. Uh, so that will be a lot of fun. That's uh, tomorrow. That's going to be Thursday. Thursday. So that will be recording. Yeah, don't do that. That's oh, illegal. Oh, no, that is, that's not that's okay. That's illegal. That's not okay. Okay. I've, I've been singing that out loud in a thrift shop. On the internet For also. a while. <laughs> you know, just in person. So I'm sorry about... I'm sorry, Goodwill. I did not... Oh, Goodwill's okay. That's why I was getting such good service. We'll see you guys next time. (laughs) Keep it right.